the human eye, which works about 14 hours a day. The eye is one of man's most valuable possessions, and that is why those who are wise entrust the care of their eyes to the one expert fully qualified to deal with them, the medical eye specialist, which is just as it should be, because our eyesight is much too valuable to risk at the hands of anyone lacking in knowledge and experience of such a delicate subject. What motivates you? What drives you in your daily life and as an eye doctor? And what inspired you to become an eye doctor in the first place? I think having something unique like being color deficient too was one of the reasons why I was drawn to the profession of optometry as well too. I found, found it fascinating that I see the world literally differently than most other people, but at the same time I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything family friend of mine growing up was an optometrist and I ran into him my senior year of college and he said why don't you come spend an afternoon shadow my practice. I was actually a patient there. He fit me with glasses and contact lenses but to be on the other side and watch him interact with patients I said I can absolutely see myself doing this. It takes a certain type of person, people like you, who dedicate their lives to helping others see this beautiful world we live in. And your story? Well, there's beauty in that too, and it makes a difference. I ended up studying jazz at the University of Kansas for a couple of years, had a nice jazz scholarship. I was a three-sport varsity athlete all through high school. I competed in Division I track, and I still hold two Division I school records at Marist. So why did you turn your passion into a profession? What were your dreams, and how are you making them a reality? Sports have always been an important part of my life, so I always wanted to find a way to combine my love of sports and athletics with a career. One year we, we said, this is gonna be it, this is our year. I happened to be pregnant with my second child at the time, and we decided that that was the year we were gonna open Performance 2020. Success to me is being able to do the things that you wanna be able to do and spend the time with the people that you want to be spending your time with. That's what it all kind of comes down to. You know, it's not just being in the exam room and checking prescription. That's not what we do. There are so many other things. So I think optometry really gives us the flexibility to follow our passion. This storytelling initiative is aimed at showcasing the passion that launched the careers of so many elite eye care professionals focusing on the real reasons behind why you do what you do. We're shining a light on the camaraderie, the close community, the amazing patient outcomes, and the anecdotes you've been a part of while running an independent practice. And that might be co-managing a cataract patient, telling a patient they have macular degeneration, seeing a five-year-old and then seeing a 95-year-old, fitting contact lenses, treating dry eye. I'm just a tip of the iceberg about what optometrists do. I have friends that only see kids. I have friends that see infants. I have friends that work in VA hospitals. I have friends that do research. The best thing about an organization like IDOC is that camaraderie. It's the getting to know other practitioners in the same scenario that you're in. It's, it's getting to actually know these people, learning how much they care about their patients, their staff members, their practice, and that's how we all grow together. These inspirational stories are all around us. Whether they're yours, an employee's, or a fellow ECP's, we want to hear about them and we're ready to tell them. So I had a really good time doing this project with this film crew over the last couple of weeks. You know, it really gave me some time to also sit down and think about why it was that I've kind of gotten into private practice optometry in the first place, and also how my world has dramatically kind of evolved around this very large aspect of my life. I've been really fortunate with my work with Cooper Vision and IDOC to come across so many unique stories in optometry. It's so great to hear what makes people happy, what their passions are. For every optometrist out there, there's a different story. You know, without hearing my other peers' stories, I would have probably repeated a lot of the same kind of mistakes that they've made, and I wouldn't have had a set of realistic goals to set for myself. I've always found that the most successful optometrists are the ones that are willing to share with others. You dreamed it. You're doing it every day. Now's your chance to share it. Together, 
we can help inspire others and grow this incredible profession. So go ahead, take a minute, think about your story. I'll bet it's a good one. Get out there and share it. Visit idocstories.com to get started.